first trip of the season. Ah, that's right, guys. We're back. Oh, long overdue. Season three. Back on the road. And uh, we're going to start this thing off right. We are heading to a small campground up in the northwest corner of the state of Connecticut. And it's called White Pines Campsites. Lee is going to check in here and then we're going to get this party started. Aha, it feels good to be back. So here we are, White Pines Campsites in Barkhamstead, Connecticut. We're going to give you our normal site-by-site -site tour. We're going to show you all the amenities like the Happy Tales Trail here that's meant for your furry friends. So let's kick off season three. Hey guys, guess where we are? We're back at it. We're so excited. We're in Connecticut, Barkhamstead, White Pines Campground. Did I get right? Yeah. All right. Well, we're excited to get to show you a new campground. The season begins. Season three. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Yes, guys. <laughs> Oh, this is, I forgot, this is the lounge room, right? You gotta look at this lounge room. Oh, you have the dog, never mind. Tomorrow when you're cold, feel free to come down, okay? Oh, this is so beautiful. It's the lounge room. And then you go in. Oh, there's ice cream. Oh, there's ice cream for the dog. <laughs> oh, do you have stickers? We only have magnets. I don't have stickers. Okay. Are right on the right hand side of the table right there. I'm just gonna do a quick film for our YouTube channel. This is awesome. I love camp stores. I, so I'm not gonna lie, my sister and I have to go into every camp store. Let me tell you something. Customer service here, I mean top notch. Reminded me of the pine, the other pines. Maybe pines is a lucky a lucky name but anyways the the women there uh, we needed pasta forgot to pack it and they have that camp store which is beautiful but didn't have pasta so she took me to her RV and gave me pasta I offered to buy it no then we go back they're giving me treats cookies D was outside with ladies so he couldn't come in I was having a blast <laughs> I'll hang out with them all day Oh yeah, my gosh. Ladies night. It is. Go, get, go do some bingo with bingo. the ladies. Bingo. 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 It was, I mean, top notch customer service. Friendly, friendly. We love people like that. We're going to go check this place out. They said there's outdoor showers. Is that crow following us? <laughs> While we stroll through the Hidden Pines Rustic Trail, let's talk about the campground. It's a uh, seasonal and short stay weekend campground. It offers private wooded sites and open field sunny sites in the Sea Loop. And there's all types of rentals here from glamping type tents, RV rentals, uh, tent sites, etc. I want to share my hiking shoes, so check them out here. Look at them. <laughs> These beauties are from Nix Max. Anytime I get something I love, I have to share with my friends. And guess what? We were able to get you a code, D and Lee. And if you use that at nixmax.co.uk, you can get things from hiking shoes, sneakers to slippers. They even come with extra laces and extra soles. So guys, take advantage, use our discount, Get your 15% off and let's go hiking in style. Thanks, Nix Max. Okay, back to the video. 
this is a small catch and release pond here. And um, several people were fishing there quite a bit. There's certainly enough to do here for you and the family. You've got basketball courts, horseshoes, child playgrounds. There's actually a pool, which isn't open yet, but will be soon for you lucky dogs. Seeing as being we didn't get to use it. Speaking of dogs. So here we go, guys. Dog park. You've got the small portion here for, you know, the timid or aggressive dog. Um, they still have little things that they could play with here. And then you have the big section back here. Um, nice big area. Things for dogs to do and play. Little play park actually. But yeah, really nice. So in the middle of the campground, there's bathhouses. Well, actually just restrooms. There are bathhouses here. There's two. There's a main one. This one? Wow. Wow, pretty, pretty clean from the middle of a campground. Almost feels like a, a house bathroom. So it's in here, that's locked. Nice, nice, nice. at night. You can always hear them at every pond or lake. But you can hear them here. Well, you can't start your day off without a nice cup of hot gel, right? Didn't matter because we were stuck in the van anyways. Energy to sit around, I guess. And that guy running had a lot of it. We watched several movies throughout the day as it downpoured. Man, two days trapped in the van and here is day number three. But luckily day number three wasn't a total loss. After some UFC and the rain subsided, it finally gave us a chance to show you guys what these sites look like, and they are awesome. Let's go check them out. All right, so here's site 131. Uh, be prepared to bring your blocks if you're gonna take this site. Yep, and here's the beginning or the end of the Happy Tales Trail. They really cater to dogs here. There's a couple dog parks here. Um, they have dog trails to take your dog on and um, normal hiking trails. Well, let's go up here. This is the seasonal section, as you can tell. Site 131, um, 130 section. So I won't bore you with this, but you could just get an idea how beautiful it is. And you can actually rent go-karts here. Five o'clock somewhere. Look how pretty this is. Look what they did with their site. That is absolutely amazing. Big class A. Really, really gorgeous. Of course, you gotta have the American flag. And I'm proud to be an American. Um, a yurt down there. Here's site 136. Um, My favorite. I wouldn't suggest it. I don't even know if they probably rent it out, but. Yep, so here's the seasonal section. Give you a quick look and then we'll move on. So site 159 and 155 in there. So here's 157. Look at this. The campground is promoted as being family friendly, pet friendly, and rustic. And um, I'd have to agree. Cabin and a yurt right next to each other. 
And that's like 96. Look at this huge, cool glamping tent. When you guys gotta rent it and get back to us, tell us about it. Site 95, guys. Here they have several cabins here, guys. Pretty cool. We're gonna see if we could get in and see what they look like. But they come with fire pits and grills, picnic tables and Adirondack chairs. There's several of them around. Obviously, they have electric. That's site 80 and 76. The variety of sites here is pretty extensive. Something for everyone. Glamping tents, yurts, cabins, RV, seasonal, tenting. You name it, and it's here. You know how I, I'm not big on um, the private campgrounds because of seasonal sites. I just feel like it's almost like you're um, going into their their community I don't know so but when they have tenting sites available away from the seasonals this is actually nice I wasn't sure at first I'm like mm. but wow that is nice up there especially for you you guys that like to tent camp this this is really nice and I believe it's really affordable too is one of our favorite sites because look at that view oh my gosh and there's room you can drive in park your car there you get two picnic tables i don't know why this is special but look at that fire pit this view is amazing we usually give you our five star site but here we have to give you a five star section the tenting section is amazing this is site two guys site tent Two, oh, it doesn't get any more rustic than these I sites, guys. This. Oh my God. Look at this fire pit right here. The creek's right behind if you. If you're tenting, babe, you open your tent doors here and have your fire and the water and all that. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. This site is nice. Oh, and then your picnic table's over there. I love this. Now there are 10 tenting sites here and uh, you could actually get a pop-up in a van in some of them. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you go in the comments and ask and we'll try to direct you to the right site for you and your family's needs. Yeah, there's another site over there, but this one is right on the little... The tenting section is in such a gorgeous setting. And keep in mind, they're not just for tents. You can get a pop-up in a van in here etc but once again make sure you get in the comments and ask us so we can direct you well guys i hope we were informative because we're going to end it here but before you leave you're going to want to see what we got planned for you for next week because next week is such a beautiful campground and lee seems to think it's going to be her top of all time so if this video helped you out in any way help us out and give us a like and maybe subscribe so let's check out next week's episode. We hit the highway, left White Pines campground and headed directly to nature's campsites in Valentown, Connecticut. We can't wait to show you this place. It offers so much, guys. Take a look at this. Look at our site. It was massive, as was the campground. There's even paintball here. Come on. And look at this. This is right behind our site. So guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next week. We love you guys.